I said, I said, yeah, we're not as important as the QBs, but I think we did all right as an offense and defensive line. You know, I said we did okay. Oh, uh, no, not the best performance of the season. We still have a lot to come. You know, we still have a lot that we can do as offense and the defense. I can speak for Jack, I believe. Uh, we, I think we did a good job of holding their uh, run game, you know, uh, not allowing them to gain too many big plays or uh, too many big passes or too many big yardage in the run game. Uh, but uh, there's still corrections to be made, and, uh, you know, that's, that's what we're going to focus on, getting the film room and get ready for uh, the rest of our season. Jack, you dominated them on the offensive line. Was it more principle the fact that you guys are finally healthy and that's what you should have been going on, but you guys are struggling maybe a little bit because of health? Yeah, definitely. I think we've been waiting for this time to kind of – for everybody to get a little healthier and gel, and I think we did today. I don't know what we rushed for, but <coughs> it worked out well and everybody played well together. Um, I would just say our coaches and the game plan and them staying on top of us all week, really, and just making sure that we knew what was on the line and just to continue to work hard with all the doubters out there. I don't think I looked somewhere and someone said that we couldn't stop Joey Bosa or Adolphus Washington, and I didn't see him back there too much today. So. Um. <laughs> I still think we make a lot of people look foolish. You look <laughs> on TV, and I think we were supposed to get blown out today or beaten pretty good. 13, and 13 point, 13 and a half or something like that. Something like that, yeah. but I think it's good to look back on that and see the people that said that. And Oh, I also want to tell LeBron that he needs to pay up to Draymond. Just want to say true, that now. True, true. He needs to pay up. Draymond won the bet. Just throwing it out there. I love I would say today, he. I talked to him this week, and he said he was going to warm up and see how it felt, and if he could go, he would, but if it was a little sore, he was going to stay out. So. Billy, what was the difference between Ohio State and Ohio State this year versus last year? Last year, Bears, Jayhawks, Giants, you guys lost this year with discipline. Uh, I think our discipline. You know, uh, we understood their offense a lot more, uh, understood our defense, and understood where our help was. You know, the biggest thing is for defense is knowing where your help is. And uh, not only that, but everyone wanted to do their own separate job. It wasn't like someone trying to do someone else's job. And that's what, that was one of the focus factors going into this week. Uh, make sure you do your job. You know, don't try to do too much. Don't try to do too little. Uh, try to be an overachiever and do your job at the same time. Um, I, I would say they're a very close group, just like most of our offense in our uh, individual rooms. Uh, like, yes, it is competitive, but at the same time, when you have one of those running backs in there or a different quarterback in there, none of them are rooting against each other. They just want their best friends to do as well as they can out there, even if that means them not playing. Um, I would say a little bit, yeah. Uh, but I think when we came out at halftime, our whole team was jumping around in the rain, and a lot of them were huddled up by the heaters. So I think we came out ready to play. Um, I'll speak for him. Go uh, ahead. Gave a story earlier about us being like the Marines in a sense. We like that nasty weather that we, we don't have the best equipment, we don't have the best players, but we know that we're going to go out and work hard. And uh, those are the type of situations that we strive in, you know, the situation where it doesn't look like uh, things are going to go well for us. That's when we hold our head, head high and we keep competing. Uh, as an offensive lineman, it, the rain sucks. Yeah, I'm going to say that. But you also like the run game. So you like being able to uh, lead a ball on the ground and, and push up front. You told a story about that? Yeah, I told a story. I was in the Marines when I was like seven. <laughs> no, I'm <almost, laughs> no, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. When I lined up for the kick? No, when you Oh. I was like, I wasn't out there. I wish I was. I wish I was kicking the ball. I was like, yeah. Uh, honestly, I knew we were going to make it. I knew he was going to make it. I talked to him early in the game, and uh, I said, I said, make make all the rest of these kicks. I said, make the rest of them. And I knew I knew it was going to come an opportunity, and he he got his opportunity. And he took hold of it. And I, I said, I said, he's going to try to ice him. He's going to call a timeout. They have two timeouts. He's going to try to ice him. Uh, but when that kick went through the first time, I was like, yeah, there's nothing that can stop it now. You just gave him an aiming point, you know. So uh, once it went through, I was like. You know, I, I knew this would happen. We had the team to do it, and uh, I was just thankful, thankful for the opportunity and, th and thankful to be in a, such a blessed situation, you know, that the Lord provided for us. What about you, Jack? What were you doing? Um, I was taking a knee at the 45-yard line. That's usually <laughs> where I go every time it comes down to a kick. So 
and just watch it, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was just kind of a time where the all offensive line and pretty much the whole offense said, we need to get it down to the other end of the field and try and win this game. And I think <clears throat> we just put a bigger chip on our shoulder and put our hand in the dirt and grinded it out. No, we didn't. That, that's on the coaches. We don't really have any input on that. But um, LJ ran great. So did Gerald, and he was uh, LJ was fresh in the fourth. But whoever was back there, I think, is an offensive line. We were gonna try and push that front. Uh, I'm not sure. That's up to them. But uh, I, I think you can look at the magnitude of the game and look at our opponent and understand that uh, we came out to compete. You know, and uh, yes, we do have one loss, but uh, we've been competing very well, and we've been beating opponents that are very highly ranked. Jack, did you feel like you guys have gotten kind of counted out in playoff picture after that loss in Nebraska? Is there anything going to rocket on that Um, I wouldn't say I wouldn't think so. Um, yeah, we lost to Nebraska, but at the same time, I think that's the best game to lose in the last part of this season because it's a crossover game. It is what it is, but we just have to finish out strong on our side. Uh, we're just going to focus on a win right now. We're happy yeah. to have this win. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. You guys have been a part of this big win and some crazy celebrations. What was this one like? I mean, just what happened to the first down in stores? How was it? How did you get with back on this one? Uh, I think it was special because it was at their house. You know, they had an opportunity. They, they had the opportunity to beat us last year at our place, and uh, we kind of wanted to see what that felt like. You know, and it, it was – it is up there with one of the uh, – one of our top, one of my tops, but uh, it, it doesn't top it because we've had so many great moments here at Michigan State, and that's not uh, just with uh, winning games. Even when we lost, there's been great moments where we've come together. You know, the opportunity to see that we need to uh, band together and uh, be better as a team. Two interceptions in the game. You like the run game throughout offense. Well, they have 100 yards. Why, why did Penn State not run back in the game? You guys were maintaining, despite the rain, especially. How are you guys able to do that? Oh, uh, the biggest thing is we put it on our shoulders. You know, even. When we came into meetings, I think Monday morning, uh, first thing Coach G said was it starts up front, you know, and and and, I, and we truly believe that it's going to start up front. If we man our gaps and we play gap sound and uh, be strong, you know, in our gaps, uh, it'll make it harder for the running back to find lanes. Uh, the biggest thing is he's a great he's a great tailback. He can go out and catch a pass. He can he can run the ball well and he can also break tackles. And uh, another one of our focal points was just tackling him. You know, the first tackle should be the only tackle that we have to worry about him. You know, don't don't allow him to break our tackles, get him down the first time. And uh, as a defensive line, we just knew that uh, their double teams were going to be strong, their tackles were, were going to be aggressive, and uh, we just needed to stand our ground and uh, uh, really make a statement this game. Yeah, I'm jumping off that repeatedly. Well, Kurt Nathan came in and mm -hmm. was weird. I thought that was a pretty important quarterback. Was there anything you were doing specifically? He was practicing on me all week, so. Yeah, that's yeah, very he, true. That was going to happen. But, um,. <laughs> yeah, that's something that we prep for throughout the week, and we have different we have different calls for we're going to hold the count a little bit longer, and uh, you almost try to stay out of a rhythm sometimes with your cadence, and a couple of those I was holding it a little bit longer, but it worked out. Guys, what about Connor on the sideline during the game? Talking with him, what did you see from him all day? Uh, I didn't talk with him much because we're on the defensive side, but I did see him running up, up and down the sidelines a couple times just excited. Uh, Excited for the other quarterback that was in the game. Excited for uh, the play calling. Excited for us to be uh, our offense to be progressing up the field, which is great. I mean, you love that in a quarterback who uh, can't play. You know, someone who's going to keep constantly uh, motivating their team, even though he doesn't have the opportunity to be out there and play. I think that he was a vocal leader today, and uh, he definitely showed that on the field. Uh. Honestly, yeah. You know, at one point I looked at the DBs. I said, the, the, the game's going to come down to you guys. I said, because they're going to try to pass the ball. And uh, I guess they, re they really respect their tailback. And I th we do also. You know, they have a great tailback. Uh, but I, I expected them to, to pass the ball a little more, and they didn't do so. so but we were happy, though, because we love, we love uh, you know, we strive on stopping the run at Michigan State. Uh, Spartan dogs through and through. That's our motto. You know, stop the run, be aggressive. Uh, all green helmets to the ball. So uh, that's just what basically what we were trying to do. And uh, when they, when they, Became one dimensional, the game uh, became a lot easier. Um, I think we thought that we could do this all year long, and obviously, we've gone through some adversity up front, but um, 
I think this week we truly gel as an offensive front and as an offense. And um, we just need to continue to do what we're doing and keep believing in what we thought we could do all year. So you just got to keep pushing on. No, I, I think we just have faith in each other as an offensive line, and we always knew that we could get the job done, and we just hit a few speed bumps on the way. Was it just a matter of the passing time? It wasn't just focus, but you just have to focus it all on, right? Yeah. No, I would, I would just say working hard every week and dealing with the adversity we face. I would, don't know how many offensive lines have gone through the adversity <laughs> that we have in the country, and still to come out where we're at, I think that's – something that's very positive about this offensive line and this whole team. Uh, that no, the we first didn't talk time about I've heard that. that. Yeah, I was going to say, we didn't talk about that. But now that you bring it to my attention, I guess I can say that now, you know, uh, had that opportunity. It is great to, you know, win in general, but uh, to win on the road is even better. You know, we want to be road warriors, and uh, I think we took hold of this opportunity and we made the most of it. Last question, guys. Let's make it a good one. Let's make it real good. <laughs> what was your song? Uh, I can't tell you that. That's, that's no fun. I don't know the name of any of the songs. Yeah. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I listen to country music. Yeah. And I'll just say it wasn't country music. <laughs> uh, the first thing we did was we prayed. You know, that was the, that was our first thing. We got down, we prayed, and uh, made sure that, you know, we gave the glory to God because uh, – he empowered us today, uh, but after that, we were just excited about the win. Uh, we wasn't, we we weren't uh, thinking too much on the next week because we were trying to uh, just enjoy the moment. You know, uh, Coach D says a lot, live in the moment, uh, and that's basically what we did today. We we lived in the moment in the locker room, and uh, we'll get to Penn State, you know, on Monday. But uh, as for right now, we're just trying to, you know, enjoy this win. Thanks, guys.